Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are in the world. This is Howie, and I'm here to help you win with money. Today is Friday, November 4, 2022. I'm going to do a live trading video, and also I'm going to show you how I copy some of my transactions that I've done previously this week from E-Trade into my pivot table. So stay tuned and see how I've been doing this week in options trading. If you're on Facebook, join me in Facebook group Investing 102. This is where I post many of my trades and comments of things that I'm doing. For example, you can see this, I posted this nine minutes ago, and it shows my trades for today. Before 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, here's my trades, and you'll see it. This is directly from my E-Trade, the confirmation, it'll tell you what I put in, generally my limit orders or my trade value and then the price that it was executed at. Or just winners only, I post my trades when I make them, when I'm opening the position. In the case of a row, it means I'm closing an existing position and then I'm opening a new one. And here you see I rolled this up and out. I rolled, I add three months to the fourth, rolled it up $1, connected 27 cents per contract. $75 in my pocket just in that one trade alone. So let's get straight to E-Trade. So here's my E-Trade account and you can see the trade that I already did today are listed like this. It's in a weird format that I don't like. So I normally wait to the end of the week to copy everything into my pivot table. But for the trades that are already converted into the next day, you can see it looks like this. And so I wanna copy these out. And I'll show you what I mean. So I'll copy all of this out, hit the copy button. I'm going to open my pivot table and you see I already did it for this week for the trade that happened earlier this week. So I'm going to show you what happens here. You see how I paste it in here and then there's another step I need to do. I got to switch accounts, apply the filter and then just do the same thing here. I'm going to copy just the transaction that I did yesterday because those are the only ones that I'm missing. I already have all the transactions from the second. Go back to the pivot table and then paste those in. And I think that looks okay. And now I'm going to do some editing because I got to remove stuff. I got to add some extra fields in and all this other stuff. And this is what it looks like. After I copied everything in, I fill in all the information here. Now, because I don't need two dates, I normally hide one of them. But I used some of these columns for my pivoting. So let's, the first thing I want to see is how much money I made just in yesterday's trading. So if you look at the third, that will put me right here. And I'll show you this. Based on the pivot table, I made $199 mostly from either rolling or opening and closing positions. So that's pretty good. So let's go to the top, let's go to the pivot. I'm gonna go over here. This is where my data is. I'm gonna hit the refresh button. Let's try refreshing. And I think the only thing I need to do is add in this one new month. And there you go, hit refresh. Okay, so the data came in. Actually, I'm wrong about this. This should be week 44. And there you go. So this number reconciles from what we just showed you. So this week is looking pretty good. And I'm not gonna finish this piece, but if you go here, you see my pivot table, let's hit the refresh button here. And there you go, now we're up to 23,701. Normally I would paste that in here. But because the week is not over yet, I'm going to wait. I'm not going to plug in this number yet. So I'm actually, um, actually I'm one week behind. So I need to plug, I need to fix this up. So give me a few minutes, magic of editing. So I spent a little time fixing this for last week, 37 trades. And you can see I fixed the number. This week we're actually going to be higher. And I'll show you what I mean if you hit the pivot. Remember, this is as of yesterday, 20, 23,000. If you paste that in here, 
paste that in here, it will show you what I'm up to. And right now my tray count is, it's actually higher than this, but you can see, you can see what it will look like. I'm not done yet because a lot of the tray that I did just today is not entered into here yet. Because again, I just explained that in the beginning of the video. So let's go into the live trading. Let's go straight into E-Trade and see what type of trades we can do now. And here we go. So let's just take a quick look. So you see this 16% down is really big. What I can do is I have a cover call on this. What I can do is roll this down because we got time on this. The 18 is two weeks away. I can roll this down for it. Look, it was $76. Now it's worth 10. I can hit the roll button. We can roll it to the same date. Roll it down and see how much credit. Here you go. I'll, I, let's see. Can I make $10 on this? Let's try $11 or $12 first. If there's enough volume, let's see. Nope, not yet. I may have to lower this to closer to the mid. Now, I like rolling because I have the ability to roll up and down and adjust my trades. And that did not go across. I may have to go under the mid, which is horrible. I may only get like eight cents minus the commission. And let's see what that go across. And it did not. Oh, there it goes. It went across. Let's put on the next trade. And you'll see that on my new portfolio screen, it's updated with the new strike price. I lowered it five bucks. There's not much I want to do. You see, this has time on it. So I'm going to let some time go. Now, if Bank of America keeps on running up, I may be okay with that. I would hate to lose my shares because you see I'm up 171%. Collected uh, five grand. I collected dividends over those years. I, I need to be sensitive. I don't want to, normally people are not going to call your shares away for 89 cents. So what I mean by that is let's see what we can get if we rolled it up. I would hate to pay. So I may want to do something like this. Let's keep on scrolling until we get a, here you go. Something like that. But let's check the week before that's even I want to collect the credit so I may do something like this you you get $11 rolling it up close to the strike price by adding four more weeks or that's a little bit longer than four weeks you see that from here to one two three four five weeks but it may be worth it so let's just do that let's let's start at the mid price see can we get it Put that trade in that one is still a there you go it's not yet let's lower it one penny onto it sells and that's what it looks like after the portfolio refreshes you see what i did i moved it up this one's okay it has some time left in it now everything else i pushed kind of far out so there's not a lot of action i need to do the other good thing is yesterday when it was down I had a whole bunch of iron condors that I adjusted or closed out. So I closed out a lot of my November ones. And you see, I have a lot of these December ones. And this is the one that I put out yesterday. I created it yesterday. You can see the date. But this one is fine. There's plenty of time left. 30 couple days, 32, 33 days left. There's no, it's not going to be tested. It's, right now it's being tested on, it's being tested on the call side. Because you can see there's about a $0.60 cents premium and then a $0.04 cents premium on this side. What I may do is adjust. I may adjust the... So I'm going to add a free 10 put. Let me show you what the S&P is right now. It's free 75. So at a free 10, the odds of this happening, it's highly unlikely. So what I would like to do is add some risk back into this trade. So this is what I call the rolling of the untested side. I'm not going to change the dates. And let's see what it looks like if I just moved it five bucks. That's not a lot. Now, I don't know what the risk is, so I want to look at the deltas. I loaded up Power E-Trade, change the ticker symbol to SPY. Make sure I have to change the date. It needs to show, which one am I doing? Hang on a second. I almost forgot what I'm trading. I am looking at December 7. So let's toggle this one back on. 
two deltas, 0.38 chance of happening. I can add a lot of risk back in, or I can add a little bit of risk back in. So let's play around with that. I can move this even higher up to a 325, 315. I'll collect about 11 cents each. Let's see what the risk is at a 325. So I'm going to check this here. A 325 is a four delta trade. 2% chance of happening. That I can live with. Not a high risk trade. We'll collect the credit. Let's start at 13. We may have to move it down to 11. So this is how I add some risk back in. I, I predict that the market will sort of stay in a 30 or 40 point range. So it should not, it should not go this far down to a 325 because we already checked that it's at a free 75 right now. So let's just get this trade across. I lowered it and there you go. Trade confirmed, you see this. I lowered it and the trade went across. I wanted to go back to the pivot table. I put on a filter for the 234 for this week. And let's just see how much money we made so far this week. It says I lost 90 bucks. But if you look at it from the beginning of the year, I believe I'm up 4,000 bucks. And if you want to double check that, let's just scroll all the way up to make sure. Here you go. And look at the week number, week, week, week number one. So I'm not counting data that I'm not supposed to. And you see all the trade numbers are counted. So let's double check this number here showing 4,000. Huh, that's weird. I'm showing 4,276. But this number is showing something different. I want to make sure. Oh, I see why. I added new trades. You see this? So let's just put this to 20,000. It doesn't really matter. Let's do 20,000. There you go. I was wondering how come the numbers don't reconcile. And there you go. Now the numbers match. I know that there's nothing wrong with my pivot, always a human error, but that's good. So this portfolio, I do something called the two, three, four. I only risk $9,000 and this year I made 4,200 so far on that particular portfolio. So I have another six or seven weeks, maybe eight, seven weeks. Yeah. Seven weeks of trading left. I may finish the year close to $5,000 in profit. So I started with nine. And I made well over $4,000. I can make a 50% return trading one strategy all year. And you'll see that. I never have more than nine contracts open on these iron condors. So I'm really excited about this. I've been producing my videos. Like I said, I post these things up on Facebook. You can see if you scroll down a little bit, you can see here, look at this trade here. I show what I did here. I close it, open it here. But I've been doing this all year. So people want to know what I'm doing. Sometimes I explain this. Look, I draw a picture. You can see it. There's no way I can fake this stuff. Look, here's another one. And I post it. If you want to track all my SPYs, you see it. I post about it all year and it just keeps on going. This is, this is the beauty of what I do. I'm always posting my trades as I'm doing it. I don't wait to the end of the year and tell you, hey, I'm up 40, 50%. If you just keep on scrolling, and you'll see this. I'm doing that for look. Here's another SPY trade. Let's keep on scrolling. This is a QQQ trade. QQQ SPY. You see that with QQQ. This is what I'm doing. I'm fully transparent with my trades. And it looked like this week I'm going to end it out really well. I'm already up. So part of my trading needs to be. I need to make money regardless of what happens. And again, I have another six to seven weeks left to finish this year strong. I'm going to play a little bit more conservatively between now and the end of the year, but I want to take advantage of a Santa Claus rally. If it happens, I would love to add another four or 5% gain to my portfolio, but I want to play it safe so that this way I locked in a nice return for this year when the markets were down about 20%. My option trading portfolio is up. 
So with that being said, hey guys, comment below. Let me know how you're doing. Don't forget, I'm a financial coach. I like helping people win with money. Let's do this together. Let's do this $1 at a time. As always, have a profitable day. Bye-bye.